The New Jersey Institute of Technology has gone west in the name of science. It's become a star in an overhaul of the Big Bear Solar Observatory in California. The project reached an important milestone this year with what astronomers are calling first light, the start of observations with a new telescope. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan shed some light on the big project. Built by Caltech, Big Bear Solar Observatory has been a center for daytime astronomy, looking closely at the sun since the 1960s. Rebuilt by NJIT from the foundation to the dome, the observatory has leapfrogged several generations of technology, and it boasts for now the world's largest aperture solar telescope with a 1.6 meter primary mirror, more than three times the diameter of its old one. In addition to its scientific mission, Big Bear could serve as a proving ground for new approaches to telescope design and construction. The telescope, we decided that we should take a real technological risk and that was to make it off axis. Basically, if you have the secondary mirror in the path of the incoming light, and then you look at the image of that part of the telescope, it looks like a spider with a spider web. Off-axis means that there's nothing to obscure the light that's uh, coming from the sun. That decision called for advances in high-precision mirror polishing guided by a large computer-generated hologram. And so that problem is solved, and um, actually, a good part of it was paid for by, by the United States Air Force, and, and that was money to the University of Arizona, but it was to polish our mirror. We made the case to them, look, you're going to do this because you need to know how to figure an off-axis mirror, so why make your prototype something you're going to put in a closet? Let's make it a real mirror that's used in, in a telescope, namely ours. The project also incorporates innovations ranging from heat management to so-called adaptive optics. In our next report, we'll look at some of the scientific questions the team has in view. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Newark.